Now, talking about Hindu phobia more broadly, I think, you know, there's obviously Hindu phobia that's rooted in um, political uh, motivations, but I think that there's also Hindu phobia that's rooted in uh, the notion of religious exclusivism. Those mm. traditions that believe that they are the only truth, the only way, uh, are afraid of Hinduism. And I, and I actually, you know, a lot of people say, oh, don't use the word phobia. And, and I would encourage people to go to understandinghinduphobia.org to see what a working definition of the word is. But these are traditions that see Hinduism as a false religion. And for centuries, uh, probably millennia, they have attempted to annihilate Hinduism through conversion and through violence. Now, um, the fact is that we're still here. And in fact, we're growing in popularity. People for millennia have come to India to find answers to their spiritual questions. Uh, people around the world are turning to things like go to yoga and Ayurveda and more um, pluralistic understandings of our place in the world, our relation with something greater than ourselves. And so therein lies the constant reminder that the efforts to destroy Hinduism have been a colossal failure. And that's where the other side of Hindu phobia uh, comes into play. And very often the political and this other kind of religious motivation, I do, I do think, do come together.